In this video, we'll see how to interpret SVD geometrically as a spectral decomposition. To do so, I reused geometrical concepts we introduced in a previous video. Namely, SVD actually boils down to finding the easiest way to interpret a bilinear form B from a vector space of users times a vector space of movies into the set of real numbers. Now, this bilinear form allows to define two maps, F and D, F from the set of movies to the set of users and G vice versa. And the two maps F and G are going to be compatible with B and with one another in the sense that B of U and V is equal to G of U transposed V and it's also equal to U transpose F of V. Now in the previous video I showed you how to construct F and G using the matrix that represents B but actually you can do it using duality in Euclidean spaces. So I'm just writing the details here, but I'm not going to focus on that in this video. Anyways, the spectral based proof of the singular value decomposition consists in finding in each space users and movies a symmetric semi-definite positive bilinear form U and V, each defined by U of U1, U2 is equal to B of U1, G of U2, which is G of U1 transposed G of U2 and V of V1, V2 equals to B of F of V1, V2, which is equal to F of V1 transposed F of V2. These two bilinear forms consist in taking two vectors in one space and measuring their similarities by comparing their images in the other space. It is quite straightforward to see that U and V are indeed symmetric semi-definite positive but if you have doubts, I highly encourage you to verify this by yourself. Now, we can apply principal component analysis to U and V. This allows to construct orthonormal bases in each space that corresponds to the directions of largest similarities. We need these two orthonormal bases to be compatible with one another, and in general, it's not going to be the case. So one thing we can do is to take an orthonormal basis of the user space and then use the G function to compute the corresponding orthonormal basis in the movie space. And guess what? We are done. The two orthonormal bases now correspond to compatible singular vector bases. Our job is now done. Now, representing SVD in terms of linear maps as we did in the two previous videos is not that common. I have chosen to do so because I believe it gives greater insights into SVD. But I strongly encourage you to go through resources that represent the matrix side of these proofs and to draw by yourself the connections between these two approaches. I believe that this will be of great help to better grasp the inner working of SVD, and I know for a fact that it has been very useful for me to do so.